Isaiah 41, 22. Let them bring forth and show us what shall happen. Let them show the former things, what they be, that we may consider them and know the latter end of them or declare us things for to come. Isaiah 42, verse 1. Behold my servant whom I uphold, mine elect, in whom my soul delighteth, I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. He shall not cry, nor lift up, nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. A bruised reed shall he not break, and the smoking flax shall he not quench. He shall bring forth judgment unto truth. Verse 6. I, the Lord, have called thee in righteousness, and will hold thine hand, and will keep thee. And give thee for a covenant of the people, for a light of the Gentiles, to open the blind eyes, to bring out the prisoners from the prison, and them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. Verse 16, And I will bring the blind by a way they knew not. I will lead them in paths that they have not known. I will make darkness light before them and crooked things straight. These things will I do unto them, and not forsake them. They shall be turned back. They shall be greatly ashamed that trust in graven images, that say to the molten images, Ye are our gods. Verse 20, Seeing many things, but thou observest not, opening ears, but he heareth not. Verse 23, whom among you will give ear to this? Who will hearken and hear for the time to come? Revelation 7 verse 3, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Verse 13, and one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes, and whence came they? And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said to me, These are they which came out of great tribulation, and have washed their robes, and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Revelation 14, verse 1. And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion, and with him 144,000, having his father's name written in their foreheads. Verse 3, And they sung, as it were, a new song before the throne, and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the 144,000 which were redeemed from the earth. Revelation chapter 15, verse 1, And I saw... Another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues, for in them is filled up the wrath of God. And I saw, as it were, a sea of glass mingled with fire, and them that had gotten victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of God. And they sung, sing the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are thy ways, thou King of saints. Revelation chapter 17, verse 1. And there came on to, er, and there came one of the seven angels which had the seven vials, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet-colored beast full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. Verse 6, And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. And when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration. And the angel said unto me, Wherefore didst thou marvel? I will tell thee the mystery of the woman and of the beast that carrieth her, which has seven heads and ten horns. 
The beast that thou sawest was and is not, and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit and go into perdition. And they that dwell on the earth shall wonder whose names were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world. When they behold the beast that was and is, or was and is not, and yet is. And here is the mind which hath wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sitteth. And there are seven kings, five are fallen, and one is, and the other is not yet come. When he cometh, he must continue a short space. And the beast that was and is not, even he is the eighth and is of the seven, and goeth into perdition. And the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings which have received no kingdom as yet, but received power as kings one hour with the beast. These have one mind and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. That's dragon. These shall make war with the lamb, and the lamb shall overcome them. For he is Lord of lords and king of kings, and they that are with him are called chosen and faithful. And chosen and faithful. Revelation 12, verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death. Revelation 11, verse 18. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come in the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou shouldst give reward unto thy servants the prophets and to the saints and them that fear thy name small and great and shouldst destroy them which destroy the earth and the temple of god was opened in heaven and there was seen in his temple the ark of his testament and there were lightnings and voices and thunderings and an earthquake and great hail revelation chapter 11 verse 1 and there was given me a reed like unto a rod, and the angels stood, saying, Rise, and measure the temple of God, and the altar, and them that worship therein. But the court which is without the temple, leave out, and measure it not, for it is given unto the Gentiles, and the holy city shall they tread underfoot forty and two months. Revelation 13 verse 5 and there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies and power was given unto him to continue 40 and two months revelation chapter 11 verse 3 and i will give power unto my two witnesses and they shall prophesy 1203 score days clothed in sackcloth these are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before the God of the earth. Revelation 10, verse 11. And he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again before many peoples, tongue, or nations, and tongues, and kings. So that's to John. Daniel 7, verse 24. And the ten horns out of this kingdom are ten kings that shall arise, and another shall rise after them, and he shall be diverse from the first, and he shall subdue three kings. Daniel 7, verse 20. And of the ten horns that were in his head, and of the other one, one bleh, sorry, and of the other which came up, and before whom three fell, even of that horn that had eyes and a mouth that spake very great things, whose look was more stout than his fellows. I beheld in the same horn made war with the saints and prevailed against them until the Ancient of Days came and the judgment was given to the saints of the Most High. And the time came that the saints possessed the kingdom. Daniel 12 verse 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. Verse 13. But go thy way till the end be, for thou shalt rest and stand in thy lot at the end of days. 
that's to Daniel. Uh, Daniel chapter 12, verse 4. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Matthew 24, verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Verse 21. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor, nor ever shall be. Verse 29. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Whoops. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. Second Thessalonians 2 verse 9. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they received not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believed not the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Romans 1 Verse 18, for the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them, for God hath showed it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God. Neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools and changed the glory of the incorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man and to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. Daniel 7, verse 26. But the judgment shall sit, and they shall take away his dominion to consume and to destroy it unto the end. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominions shall serve and obey him. 